What is going on, everybody? My name is Josh, and welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to be talking about Roster Mania, and as always, your Roster Mania news is brought to you by NoScope Glasses. Go ahead, click the link in the description, and use the discount code DISC5P to get 5% off your purchase. Now, let's get into this. I want to talk about the uh, first big roster change, and that is Killa leaving Optic Nation. Uh, here's his tweet. It says, FA, as of right now, best of luck to Optic Gaming, but things didn't just work out. Um... I mean, I can't deny it. Optic Nation didn't do that great. Carnage, um, the team I represent, almost beat them at uh, Nashville. Uh, it was really close. It went 3-2. Uh, final map, it was, of course, s and is really, Optic Nation is really good. Um, if we would have beaten them in the first Dom, which we lost by like four points, we would have advanced past Optic Nation and been top 16. Uh, but we didn't. So, you know, it is what it is. But... Killing out on Optic Gaming. Um, Embos then released a tweet saying, I will have more details soon about the Optic Nation squad heading into Advanced Warfare. Going to be a great year. Now, I don't know who will join. I don't know what will happen. I don't even know if the regular Optic team is going to stay together. Optic Gaming, uh, not Nation. Big Timer might be coming back to play, so maybe he'll join Optic Nation. I don't know. Uh, there's a lot of possibilities. Proof might go over to Optic Nation, and then Optic Gaming might pick up Big T. Um... Uh, I don't know. There's a lot of things that could possibly happen. Now, as you guys know, and I covered it in the last video, and by the way, thank you guys so much for all the support on that last video. Uh, it has, like, as as of right now, as, as of 5.30 on October 29th, it has, like, 250 views and, like, almost 30 likes. So that's insane for my first roster change video back from my little short break that I took. Um, but I like to keep you guys informed because I know these roster changes are really hard to keep track of. So as you guys may know, Neslo left or was released from TK. Uh, Loney left or was released. I guess they both decided to just part ways from Rise, and they did really well um, in the Season 3. Uh, not the playoffs necessarily, but in Season 3, they played well in Dallas, I believe. Or I mean, they weren't the best land team, but they were really good online. So, I mean, you know what that says. But Looney is going to be playing alongside Sharp, Gunjar, and Theory. In, on TK, so that's that's a pretty solid squad, as you guys know. Looney doesn't miss, so uh, <laughs> it's gonna be a nice squad. I'm expecting them to do big things, and you never know. One of the other players might leave. Gunjar is always like talking about leaving or like joining another team. He's always talking about the God squads and stuff like that. So, but I love Goon. Goon's one of my favorite players. Sharp, probably one of my my top five favorite players. Uh, but I really like TK. TK is one of my favorite organizations, so I'm happy about that squad. Next thing we have here is Study has been dropped from Denial. Uh, here's the tweet from the CEO, Robbie Rignalda, and he says that uh, good luck to Study wherever he ends up. Um, their team will be looking for one. I believe that's Zuma, Saints, and uh, Replays. So they will be looking for a fourth. Uh, I don't know who it could be. It might be Neslo. Um, and also Curse. I didn't make a video about this but curse released tipsy and burns off so they are also available for trade now i don't know if tipsy and burns they, i don't think they made the season three playoffs uh but all those other trades that went down can go down because it you have to like make sure two original players that qualified for season four are on the team and then you can have two other players who also qualified. I don't know. I guess you just have to have two original players from that team that qualified as well as two other players that qualified, but they don't have to be from that team. It's really confusing, but th that's what I'm getting out of it. But anyway, the big thing to take out of this video and take out of today, uh, this actually happened yesterday, but I just got to it today, is Optic leaving, or Killa leaving Optic, and that leaves one for Optic Nation. And as we know, Optic Nation is the biggest, or Optic in general is the biggest Call of Duty franchise other than Envy and FaZe. They are the biggest in terms of like followers and, and stuff like that and i'd give eg um that number as well but i mean every every time something happens with optic the internet blows up so i mean you got to cover it i'm sorry i'm late i'm sorry if you would have heard it from somewhere else but things happen i don't always get to it right away uh but yeah so that's all i have for you guys today let me know what else you guys would like to see i don't know if i'm going to be getting advanced warfare on day one uh i don't have any money so that's gonna be tough but yeah, you might see some gameplay of Advanced Warfare from me. That's all I'm going to tell you guys right now. If you want to leave a like on the video, subscribe if you are new. That would be awesome. My name is Josh. Follow me on Twitter. Link's in the description. I'll see you guys later. Peace.